guys, this is Lala Legacy, and welcome back to an another episode of Little Busters. So, I think this might be Kurugaya's ending, so let's jump right back in. My consciousness returned. I could, oh, I could hear everybody's voices around me. Oh, you woke up. It was Kyosuke who noticed first. Uh, yeah, looks like I fell asleep again. I see. Did you sleep well? Yeah. It was the usual thing, though. I see. But still, your face looks a lot better now. You're always so pale, so it's difficult to tell the difference. Only compared to your ever-flushed face. The hell? Are you saying that I have too much blood? Are you telling me to go donate my blood? Well, that was quite a commendable interpretation. Ooh, are you okay? Rin was worried, peering into my face. Yeah, more or less. My cold seems to have settled for the most part. <clears throat> Only then I realized. Wait, classes are over? Don't we have practice today? Take a look outside. I looked out through the window like he told me. Rain. Well, it's as you can see. And since you're bedridden anyway, it's a day off. Curse you, Rain. We can't play outside anymore. There, there. We're going to play once it lets up. For once, I felt grateful to the rain that always seemed to be uh, so depressing. It was encouraging to have everyone here around me. Whoa, what's with this apple skin? When you put the three of them together, it reads melancholy. Is that some sort of code? Well, hmm, did someone come? Uh, yeah, Kurugaya-san stopped by before lunch. She peeled an apple for me and also gave me this. I showed them the ice pack, which had already become tepid. Ah, so that's it. I was wondering where Kurugaya had gone. Well, I'm going back. Huh? Why don't you at least stay here until dinner? No, I'm going back. Well, so she says. Uh, thanks for checking up on me. I directed my words at her. Get well already, dummy! She left. I don't get whether she's encouraging or just bad-mouthing me. A maiden's heart is full of mysteries. Is that how it is? Who knows? At the very least, there wasn't a single person in my room who understood how a girl's mind works. After Rin went back, we opened the usual meeting with the four of us. All right, the subject is Operation, Operation Love, Love Hunters. Every time you say that, you make me worried. Is it really so bad, this name? Love, love is out of our limits for sure. Hmm. How about Lowly, Lowly Hunters then? You could have heard a pin drop. What's with that grossed out reaction? Nobody said I'm a lowly con. Well, putting aside whether Kyosuke is a lowly con or not. Don't put that aside. That's the most important part. Kyosuke received the title lowly con suspect. In the first place, it's just an expression I came across when reading, uh, when I was reading this magazine. What kind of magazine is that? You guys read it. No, I don't give a rat's ass, really. Likewise. They received the magazine from Kyosuke and skimmed through it. And also, I didn't say I was reading it because I was interested. Is he having, or is he saying someone else brought it? Who cares? If, or who cares if you're a lowly con or not? Doesn't bother me. He put his hand on Kyosuke's shoulder. Shut up, you maid man. Or, you're, you made, what? You made maniac. Another awkward silence ensued. I don't think I didn't notice your eyes stopping at the page, uh, pages with maids when you flipped through the mag. No way! It just so happened! And you, Kengo, you're into shrine maidens! Guilty as charged. He admitted it! Well, that's enough about that. Let's get back to the point. Well, what it means is that everybody has their own preferences. Whoa, are you admitting you're into lowly? I'm not! He composed himself. Okay, back to the topic. Yeah, get us started already. No, hold on. What is it? It just dawned on me. But when you write 21 really fast, doesn't it start to look, or to, uh, doesn't it look sort of like it says lowly? It just dawned, whoops. The hell are you, 
Wait, huh? I think I can actually see it. Quit with your jokes already. Hmm? Whoa, I can see it. At this rate, once I turn 21 and my name will be written as Masato 21, it's going to turn into Masato Loli. Whoa, I don't want to turn 21. Back to the topic, please. We finally got around to the subject. How about you give her a present? That's so stereotypical. Really? I think it's a pretty nice idea. It's a very straightforward approach, and she should be happy to get a present. I agree. It's not so much stereotypical as it is fundamental. So, what should I give her? I guess it should be something that she likes. Well, that's how it normally works. Do you know what her likes are? Eh? Hmm. It seems that she likes coffee and tea and those kinds of things. Then can't you just give her something related to that? No. If it's too directly related... Uh, yeah, if it's too directly related, what will happen if she already has it? Uh, that'd be awful. That's why it has to be a little more irregular than that. Dear me, I never thought I'd really buy it for me. We should aim for that level of surprise when she gets it. No, it's not like I've announced earlier that I'm going to buy something for her. <coughs> Kengo, don't you have any ideas? Masato folded his arms and questioned Kengo. Hmm? Ah. Well, I have an idea, but I'm afraid it's hard to realize. That's okay. At least tell us what it is. First, make a reservation at a restaurant on the top floor of a hotel. And when you invite Kurugaya out there, you tell her, This night view, I give it to you. And then the lights of the skyscraper opposite come to life and it reads, Love. That's it! No, it really is impossible to realize. Jeez, I started feeling bad again thanks to this ruckus. Hey, is everything okay? Well, I've not fully recovered yet. I think I'd better turn in now. Well, just have a good rest for now, and let us take care of this. I appreciate it, but I'm kind of worried too. Well, which direction should we proceed in? Uh, yeah. Whom should I let decide? Mm. Honestly, probably Kyosuke. Kyosuke, I'll leave it up to you. Okay, g I got it. Rest assured and sleep sound. Okay, good boy. It was hard to get. Or it was hard to use good judgment with my, with my mind so hazy. I feel like it's not going to work, whichever I whichever one I choose. Aw. On the following day, my body felt better. I could move around like usual. Huh. Masato had already gone out to train like always. What did they do about the present? The feeling of worry I'd felt uh, yesterday surfaced again. I wonder if it'll be all right. During the baseball practice after school. Well, we're starting today's operation, Operation Love Love Hunters. Are we still using this name? Fool! First of all, the present has been prepared. Why did he get angry? Kiyosuke handed me a small, neatly wrapped box. Everything is up to you now. Well, I really think that the contents are at least as important as, or are at least an important factor. Well, good luck. We're cheering you on. Yeah. Well, I felt truly grateful, but... First of all, I called Kurugaya-san. What is it this time, young man? I'd be grateful if it's something interesting again. Well, I don't think it's going to live up to your expectations. I took the box out of my pocket. Um, this. What's this? A present for someone? So what you're saying is that you want me to act as your Cupid. <laughs> you came to the right person. I'll hook you up perfectly, thorough, or thoroughly, and flawlessly. She was totally getting the wrong idea. Could it be that she's somewhat dense about this sort of thing? No, it's for you. Oh, it's for me. A thank you gift? You don't have to worry about that. Uh, yeah... She definitely didn't realize. Maybe she's just not, or maybe she's not just somewhat dense. She's incredibly dense. Well, I'd be cold to reject your kindness, though. May I open it? Y yeah. 
I was dying to see what was inside. Kudagaya-san opened the box. Her expression momentarily changed into one of confusion. What is this? It was a can. A label read, or the label read, Hawaiian Air. <laughs> Are they still selling this kind of thing? It truly was something beyond imagination, something genuinely irregular. It was a mistake to leave it to Kiyosuke. I'm surprised you could find that nowadays, which means you have been to Hawaii, Riki-kun? No, I've never been outside Japan. This is an un unexpected present. Well, I'll accept it. Uh, is that okay? What are, you, er, what are you saying? Aren't you the one who was giving it to me? Well, I was. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with wanting to express your gratitude. But in this situation, if a person of the opposite sex seriously gave me a present, uh, like this, it'd be lame beyond words. What's more, all this somewhat reeks of idiocy. Well, it was prepared by the famous group of idiots, after all. I'm worried for your future. I absolutely have to speak some words of advice. This could be a bad influence on Rincoon, too. Uh, okay. She ended up lecturing me for ten minutes on presents and whatnot. Well, if anyone needed this lecture, it should be the three of them. I'm sure they were absolutely serious when they prepared it. I got back to my room. Oh, where's Rin? She went somewhere with Komari and the rest. Hmm. So, how did it go? Well, she more or less liked it. What? Are you serious? What's with that reaction? To tell you the truth, I was amazed by how stupid this idea was myself. I mean, who could seriously give a present like this? Don't give me something like that next time! So, to sum today's or to sum up today's events, he cleared his throat. No matter how you look at it, it doesn't appear that Kurugaya-san is treating Riki seriously. Yeah, that's what I think too. I don't even get how it's possible she hasn't noticed yet. So, what should we do? I think we should just keep trying different approaches one or one by one. We should take her interests into consideration and take one step at a time. But I don't know anything about her hobbies besides that. Just leave that to me. Even though you're a lowly con? Whatever are you talking about? You've not been or you've not been cleared of your lowly con charges yet, and Kuragaya is the exact opposite of that. <laughs> you sure say the funniest things, Masato kun. Well, even if Kyosuke is a true lowly con, there's still me and Masato. That's true. Damn, I've never felt such humiliation in my life. Whatever. Call me a true lolicon or whatever the hell you want. Oh, Jesus. Meanwhile, the sound of the door being opened could be heard. Ha! I'm just going to keep doing lowly, lowly hunters by myself. <laughs> the eyes of the two siblings met. Her friend left without saying a word. Bye! <laughs> Looks like her opinion of you fell from a brother to just a pervert now. Oh, it's dinner time already. <clears throat> You're right. Well, I'm starving. We left the wailing Kyosuke behind and headed to the cafeteria. How oh, pitiful. I thought so too. During dinner, there was a tense atmosphere. Rin, can you pass me the soy sauce? Kyosuke pointed at the soy sauce near Rin. She completely ignored him. He had no choice but to reach for it himself. Ugh, keep away! Kiyosuke shrunk back. I'm your brother. A worthless pervert! Ugh. And that's how people fall from grace. Well, you reap what you sow. He should weigh his words better next time. Kiyosuke's scream of despair echoed through the, or throughout the cafeteria. We'll light up the sky. After we were done eating, we came back to Masato's in my room. Huh, you're saying you're going to set the sky on fire? Is the end of the world at hand? No, I was talking about fireworks. I have a shakudama here. He lifted a wooden box filled with dehumidifying bags and a ball the size of a watermelon on the table. Wait, is that a real one? 
Incidentally, Rin was or had been sitting in the corner of the room, the place furthest away from Kyosuke, all this time playing with a the cat. There was a painful expression on Kyosuke's face when he looked at her. Come on, Rin, come over here. Even when she joined our circle, she sat as far away from Kyosuke as she could. Nichan is sad. Seems like her or their rift was a rather serious one. Well, I got this from my travels. When I was out of money to buy food, I was helping out making fireworks. Kyosuke muttered softly while holding it in his hands. Oh, hold on then. Is it that stuffed with gunpowder? Yeah, if it goes off, it would easily blow up the entire room. It was sitting in my room somewhat with or er, in my room without use all this time, just giving me the creeps every once in a while when I remembered about it. If there ever was a fire, everything in a 300 meter radius would have been pointed in or painted, sorry, in rainbow colors. Whoa, that's totally a bomb. No, I don't want to become like Tsukima Switch. The only way you'll get an afro from that is if you're a manga character. Oops, he dropped it. Ah! Kengo leapt over and caught it, sliding on the floor. Watch out! If that thing goes off, it's not just not just the little busters, but everyone will be like Tsukima Switch. We'll be fine unless it catches on fire. We're going to shoot the sky into or in the night sky. You will be watching it together. They don't have any fireworks festivals at this time of year, so isn't this or isn't that the best event possible? No, I don't really get your point. In a nutshell, Riki will ask Kurugaya on a, out on a date, and we'll be shooting this firework. Isn't that very romantic? It's a crazy plan, just like something you just like something you would suggest. But that sounds like fun. Yeah, I agree. Yep, well, I like fireworks. Yeah, all girls like fireworks. Is that really so? So it has to be at night? Of course. You'll be watching the fireworks light the sky. It'll be or it'll be a time for just the two of you. You'll uh, whether you want it or not, your feelings will rise. And when it's over and the silence falls, you'll be whispering love at e or love to each other. Love, love, love like that. How stupid. But among all the ideas so far, this one was really something that would show what the little busters were made of. Okay, let's work out the details. Yeah, it was a stupid plan no matter how you look at it. But when I started seriously thinking about it, I felt excited like never before. This hasn't changed a bit since the old days. That's why I thought the little busters should stay this way forever. But when it comes down to it, it's not like they're even helping me out with my love anymore. I mean, this isn't something you'd normally do no matter what. But then again, Kudagaya-san isn't, uh, isn't the most normal person either. I wonder if she's going to be happy. I kept thinking about things like that as we worked out the details of our fireworks plan until late in the night. On our way to school, we were putting together our plan from last night. Riki, you'll call, call Kudagaya uh, to your classroom. Uh, in the evening? Yeah, do something about it. Well, I'll try. And the four of us will shoot this thing off in the schoolyard. He pat or he pat on the shakudama he's been or he was holding. It's a shakudama, but it's somewhat small. The courtyard is about or is about broad enough for exploding it so that everything around sh should be safe. Probably. He quietly added. Well, your closing remark is very worrisome. Everything Kiyosuke does is worrisome. I don't want to hear that from you. Well, it's the only place that at least 200 to 300 meters wide around. There's no other option. Watching fireworks from the classroom. That's quite the promising situation. Well, that's how it is. Unless you manage to invite her, it'll all be in vain. You just need to get an okay from her. Leave the rest to me. Okay, I get it. I didn't waste any time and spoke to Kudagaya-san as soon as we arrived in the classroom. The classroom? This e er, in the evening? Yep. I don't really get it, but I hope you're not scheming something bad. No, I don't mean any harm. 
Um, Oneson is worried that you're going to assault her. There's no need to worry. I'd lose anyway. Ha ha ha. Rikikun, you should exercise a little more. I'm not saying you should be like young man Masato, but having more muscle wouldn't be a bad idea. I'm not good at fighting. Hmm. Well, it's okay for you to stay the way you are. So, tonight in the classroom. Got it. I'll text you the exact time later. This time, I can't imagine in the slightest what it is you want from me. I'm looking forward to finding out. But that is all the time that I have for this episode, guys. So if you liked it, please give it a big thumbs up down below. And if you haven't already, subscribe. By subscribing, you're becoming part of a legacy. I love you guys so, so much, and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye!